Oh, Hammer Force sounds tough. G'day Hammerheads, check it out. We've got the uh, the Works uh, WX381 and today we're just gonna put her through her paces, see how she goes. Let's check it out. Come on mate, hurry up. So here we go, we got the, uh, oh there it is, 22 millimeter rotary hammer, so it's about 7 eighths of an inch, and this is from Works. So this style of drill, it's got that sort of classical like Bosch cordless tool shape, uh, it's got the inline motor, pistol grip, and the battery is in the middle to make it nice and balanced. Feels pretty nice in the hand, we've got rubberized all around here, that orange part is actually plastic, not rubber. Uh, but yeah, to the hand, feels perfectly fine, pretty well balanced. And I think the 22 millimeter capacity is a really nice general size to use, so I think they've done well there. Uh, if they're going for a DIY kind of market, you know, 22 millimeters, I think is spot on for, you know, pretty much anything a DIYer might want to do. Uh, it is three, oh, get that out of the way. So little problem here with the depth rod. So it is three modes, got the hammer only. So, you know, you can do your chiseling, no worries there. So it's not going to be too big or too expensive, but it should be able to handle pretty much any job you can throw at it, you know, chipping tiles and whatever, uh, in a kind of domestic or handyman sort of setting. Uh, so, nicely done. So I do like the fact that the depth rod has a separate uh, adjustment, because usually they screw with the handle. Uh, but as you can see, this guy actually interferes with you turning the knob there, so maybe you just want to swing that around to the other side. Not like that. Um, but other than that, yep, yeah, got to say, perfectly fine. Nice little unit. So if you're not familiar with Works, they do actually a lot of garden tools. You can tell by the marketing they're doing there. They're really sort of going for the home and garden market now, uh, even though they used to actually sort of say, you know, they want, want to be pro-grade tools as well. Uh, they've even got this sweet little like Roomba robot for mowing your lawn, which is, you know, pretty cool. Wouldn't mind one of them myself. But what's going on there is they're actually owned by this company, Positech. So they're, you know, just a big Chinese corporation like most of them. Uh, so they own Works and they also own Rockwell. And Positech has just gotten the, uh, the old German tool brand Kress. Uh, and these guys are, well, you can see right there, well, you can see right there, they are basically making a pro version of the Works tools. All right, so let's look at the specs. Right down the bottom, this is just in alphabetical order. I'm not being mean. Uh, so the price is $2.99 dollar dues. The weight is two kilos. Capacity, as we've seen, is 22 millimeters, so seven eighths of an inch or so. Uh, impact energy is another two, so we got two, 22, two, 299. Why didn't they call this hammer the WX222? Beyond me, but oh well. Impact per minute, 4,700, so they reckon, and so that means the impact power is about 9,400. So uh, if we take a look at the other hammers that have a similar impact power, so we got this Milwaukee. Uh, that's actually a 16 millimeter rated hammer, but they reckon it hits really, really fast. Uh, so it'd be interesting to compare it to that one. The other tool it's probably close to is going to be the DeWalt. So that's actually rated bigger. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, see how she goes versus that one as well. And the Revs 1350 RPM. So they say, let's take a look at that. Let's get the old taco. Twelve ninety-five, so very close. And if we just check the box for uh, anything fancy, yeah, I mean, I reckon it drills everything. Ah, oh, okay, so it came with a little set of drill bits, which is great. Uh, they seem perfectly fine. They actually look just like the Makita ones. So, oh, well, there you go. According to this drill bit, twelve millimeters is actually fifteen thirty tooths. Well, there you go. So, might give them a shot at some point, but for now, the standard test that we do with every one of our rotary hammers here is a 12 by 80 mil speed drill. So, let's see how she goes. Work, work. 
Alrighty, and look at that. Smack dab in the middle, we got the works with an average of 10.91 seconds for the 12 millimeter speed drill. So interestingly enough, a fair bit faster than its closest, you know, theoretical drilling rival, the, uh, the little 18 volt Milwaukee there. And just a little bit faster than the higher rated DeWalt there. Nicely done to the works. And next up is the max capacity test. So 22 millimeter hammer, 22 millimeter drill bit, same concrete, same depth. Let's see how she goes. And wouldn't you just know it, the max capacity drill, the works is right in the middle again. Now, the bigger drills are drilling slower because they were drilling bigger drill bits. Uh, but look at that, right in the middle, very nice. So the works did use a 22 millimeter drill bit rather than a 26. So this one's essentially sharper. It should be digging in deeper uh, with every blow because the energy is not going to be spread out as wide. And uh, yeah, I'd also expect that with the Milwaukee too, because that guy was actually running a 16 millimeter drill bit. So yep, yeah, about what you'd expect. So one thing I did notice before I did the testing, thankfully, was the depth rod. So uh, if you'll take a look at that, it actually gets pushed off kilter by the uh, the tightening nut here. And so when it was actually out in the drilling position, she actually wasn't running straight. It was running at a bit of an angle. There you go. But luckily I was aware of that before I did the drilling. So uh, to even out any imbalances, cause I do actually use the depth stop on this for the timing. So, you know, the geometry is important when I'm doing the drill testing. So basically I just, you know, drilled this way, drilled that way. Uh, and if we take a quick look at a couple of those drills. We'll see that the numbers ended up pretty tight. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that that wasn't really biasing it. So the only real concern I have this with this drill in terms of quality is actually just the handle, you know, that is just very thin plastic. It's probably the thinnest one uh, I've ever seen. And uh, it just, you know, if you were throwing this around a job site, it would probably break sooner than the rest. Uh, anyway, hammerheads, that'll do it from us. Uh, really quite a nice little drill. And you know what? I've actually got a few in this range now, so I would really like to do a head-to-head, -head, but, um, you know, why don't you just let me know if you can think of the sort of tests you would want to do, you would want to see with this kind of size. Anyway, guys, uh, from the Hammer Force and I, that's going to do us. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll scratch you later. Whoa. Hammer Force, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Hammer, Hammer Force. Yeah, have a force.